dear friends from all over the world, it's Annette and look who we have here with me today on this surprise Saturday and it's also play day Saturday that's hosted by a dear friend Patricia from Patricia Dolly Dreams and I'm going to change Noah and Noah is the Tobias sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles and she is reborn by April reborn by Zebra my dear friend April in France and she has her lovely beautiful festival dress on and I'm going to take it out because my granddaughter is going to use this probably so I want to change her but I have another lovely dress from our dear friend Claudia and I did get it long time ago maybe she don't remember it anymore it's this handmade dress from the muslin fabric with the upper it's a skirt with two layers uh, in dusty rose I think you call it and the upper part is with butterflies on it so I thought that would be very very cute on my sweet Noah what do you think and there is a lovely herbo with it so I hope you liked it to see it Claudia it is a little a surprise a surprise and we're going to take your cute ballerina bunny away you get it back and your lovely dolly so we're going to change you sweetie yes we are and uh, well it's a Saturday and I hope you're all doing fine and I am pre-recording on Friday so I don't I hope you don't mind but anyway I want to change my Noah for you today and she says hello to her many many a twin sisters she has all over the world and on Instagram she has a twin brother so yes we saw a boy there yes we saw a boy there lovely dress this was this is very beautiful from Majuro and it was the twinning dress with Brianna from Susie Q's Kill Susie Q's Happy Little Haven. Yes, so she says hello to Brianna also. <laughs> oh, twinning is fun. I think I leave this onesie on her. And oh, yeah, your hair bow can go out. And I just pop it on you. I hope you're all doing fine and um, yeah I want to share something with you I was reading it this morning and yeah this was for you Noah is it big enough for you You, you, I think I have to try another one seat under her, you see? Yeah. Yeah, we have to find another one seat moment, please. So I did put on another one seat on her. You see this better? You don't see her body body parts this way. So and then we can put on your your dress again your sweet sweet butterfly muslim dress it's very beautiful on you yes it's very beautiful on you so 
here she is. So dear Claudia, I hope you like to see this. I didn't put it on her last year because then it, the weather was not good enough but now the weather is really good for this yes really good for this and I'm going to do her hair give her hair also a uh, little brushing and put her matching hair bow she will be very cute there's a little bit dust in you your eyes so so I will do that and then I come on later well I gave her hair some some um, um, conditioner so it has to dry before I will put the bow in her hair but she holds it because she really wants that bow in her hair so in the meantime I will read with you about heart vision love is unselfish, understanding and kind, for it sees with the heart and not with the mind. And I have to think about 1 Corinthians 13, There's, it's also about love. For verse 4 and verse 7 and 8, love is patient, love is kind, love doesn't envy, is not boastful, is not conceited, love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. And you see, love is not easy. The Lord says we have to love each other, but it's not easy. But you can fill in the name of Jesus because Jesus is love and Jesus could do it. And then it says Jesus is patient, Jesus is kind, Jesus doesn't envy, is not boastful, is not conceited. Jesus bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Jesus never ends. And he did bear all things on the cross. 1 John verse 4, uh, chapter 4 verse 8 says, He who doesn't love does not know God, for God is love. Yes, Jesus is love, God is love. Yes, Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit are all one. And we had our Bible study home group and we were talking about that. And it's very difficult to understand. There are different persons but all one God. It's not understandable for us as human beings. There is a question in this book. In what areas of your life do you need to use your heart vision instead of your head vision? And, um, well, I think for me it's sometimes more necessary that I use my head instead of my heart. Because my heart tells me things and that are not really, maybe not always good to, to think or to do. Um, but there are also people who are doing things with their head and less with their heart. And, but yeah. Uh, um, I was also thinking um, some Bible verses were, were coming on in the other book that I am doing and it says in Luke 6 verse 31 do to others as you would like them to do to you and in Romans 15 verse 2 we should all be concerned about our neighbor and the good things that will build his faith. That's also good to remember that we have to take care of each other and uh, build up each other's faith. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 4 tells us whenever other people suffer we are able to comfort them by using the same comfort we have received from God. And that's also sometimes not so easy, because you want to share your experience, but others are not ready for that. And that's also sometimes difficult. You want to give some good advice, 
that you have learned and uh, yeah that's not all you need also wisdom for that because it's not always the good moment the good time and it can come over to others that you are um, saying things they want to, they don't want to hear because they have their own ideas so yeah it's not easy and I might mi make mistakes with it because I I've been through a lot of things in life and um, then I can go too fast for other people who are still in the middle of some things in their life and um, I have to be patient so that's good thing for me to know in that in 1 Corinthians 13 is saying love is patient yes and the Lord is, was also very patient with me so I have to be, be patient with others so yeah that's for me sometimes difficult my heart wants to share things too fast so and there is a prayer about the heart vision of the Lord. Father, I'm so grateful for heart vision. There are days when I only see the bad in people, but you're reminding me that I need to have your vision, not my own. Your vision is gracious, grace-filled, empathetic, 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 and kind. May I be more like you as I see with your eyes, Lord. Amen. Yes. That is a good prayer for, for me. Yes. I have to see through the eyes of the Lord. And the Lord is patient. The Lord is waiting. The Lord is a gentleman. He will not uh, force himself up to other people. And we have also to be gracious, grace-filled, and empathetic, and kind. And her hair is still not dried, I think. So I will put on the bow later, and then I will make some pictures for you. And I want to wish you all a very blessed day. Maybe I have to put some socks and shoes on. I'm not sure. I like the bare feet too for a moment and I'm going to put a little bit varnish on her toes so then it, it can also dry so dear friends from all over the world I want to wish you a very blessed weekend and dear Claudia thank you very much for this lovely lovely dress that's so beautiful on sweet Noah and it's the first time she wears it so that's new doll clothes from J at J Dolls UK and um, yeah and it's play day Saturday and she wants to play with her bunny and her dolly so yeah and she wants to play with her sister Yara so dear friends I love you all and many blessings and keep in mind that we have to try to look to others well as Jesus looks to us and to do to others as you would like them to do to you as Luke 6 verse 31 tells us and yeah we need the Lord for his help because we cannot do it out of our own dear friends many blessings and I love you bye bye